Isn't it just so simple and so natural to come into the recognition of this transcendent self as oneness, one love, one beingness, one truth, one reality, one place, one here and now? from this place of living awareness, this heart is that heart. This mind knows the vastness of our atmosphere of mind. This field of awareness knows the power of the soul and the boundless strength that is available in our collective vibration. We know this to be true in the deepest core of ourselves, right? Isn't it so palpable in our knowing? Now go look in the bathroom mirror. Is that what you see? Can you imagine a mirror that reflects not just your physical form, but unveils the depths of your soul? A mirror that goes beyond the superficial and reveals our interconnectedness, all the beings we're connected to, all of the cosmos that we're connected to. You can see that down into the infinitesimal. What's required from that mirror is transparency. What's required is a self-awareness that transcends the apparent. Perhaps the mirror of namaste. <laughs> this is the essence of what I'm calling transcendent transparency. It's a revelation of that living awareness, that self, that extends far beyond the boundaries of our individual existence. Sounds like a superpower, right? Our superpower as emissaries of light is to simply hold up this kind of mirror. It's the mirror of honoring universal being. A magical mirror of honoring and showing your own transcendental transparency permeating from the beyond. Overflowing from and transcending the veil. So from this realm of infinite potential and endless possibility from this realm of our oneness and our interconnectedness with the entirety of the body of living awareness in all beings. Let us collectively hold up that mirror to all living beings in this moment. Have you seen your light lately? Have you noticed how loving your heart is? Do you know how vast your mind is? Can you fathom how deep your soul is? Can you admire your strength like this heart and these eyes do? Yes, we are apparently human. We are apparently individualized in an experience of sense perception and sense reality within the vastness of all that's available in existence for that beautifully described, Gary. But we are also universal being. We are building universal being. We are creating a universal body of awareness.
We are manifesting one universal love, one life, and one truth in every expression of this moment. 